Hello friends, in this video we will see how to find maximum of three distinct integers. So let's say the uh, given integers are like this a, b and c and we assume that this uh, integers are distinct. So first let's understand the logic behind finding out maximum of these three integers. So first what we can do, we, we, we will start with uh, any two integers. So let's start with a and b and we are comparing a with b. If a is greater than b, then we will compare a with c and if a is greater than c, then we will declare that a is the maximum. If a is not greater than c, so that means if c is greater than a, right, if c is greater than a and a is greater than b, so that means c is greater than a as well as b, so we will say that c is the maximum. If a is not greater than b, so that means a is not maximum, so now uh, competition is between b and c only so we will compare b with c if b is greater than c then we will say that b is the maximum if c is greater than b and uh, from this particular right branch of this tree we know that b is greater than a so b is greater than a and c is greater than b we can say that c is greater than a as well as b right so we will say that c is the maximum so this is the overall idea now what we need to do? We need to convert this into a C program. So let's see how to do it. So let me use different color here. So let's find out when we will get this particular uh, number A as the maximum number. So as you can see, it's corresponding to this branch, right? So corresponding to this branch, we can see there are two conditions. The first condition is A greater than B and the second condition is A greater than C. So we can say that if both of these conditions are true, then only A is the maximum. So if we try to translate this into a C code, then we need to write this if A greater than B and in between and the second condition is A greater than C and in between we need to use logical and right. So we can say that if this is the case, then we will say that maximum is A. Right? So it's it's uh, clear with respect to a. Now let's see when 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 we need to declare b is the maximum. So corresponding to b, this is the path, right? So here, as you can see, there are two conditions. The first condition is since you are here, so that means b is greater than a, right? And here, as you can see, b is greater than c, then only we are going to say that b is the maximum. So, we we'll write like this, then maximum is b. Now, the third and the last case is corresponding to c. So, as you can see, there are two cases corresponding to c. The first case is like this. So, let us talk about it first. Uh, it's it's it is going like this, a greater than b is true and a greater than c is false. Right? So let me write it down, a greater than b is true and then a greater than c is false. So that means c is greater than a, that is true, right? So I can ignore this and I can consider this third statement. Now from this two, what, what can we say? Since a is greater than b and c is greater than a, we can say that c is also greater than b right so we can uh, we can rewrite these two conditions like this if uh, c is greater than a and c is greater than b then we can say that c is the maximum uh, in uh, uh, if if you want to consider this one more time then you can you can see like this a greater than b is true and second thing which is true is c greater than a so we can write like this b greater uh, sorry c greater than a a greater than b so uh, we can kind of, we can it will translate into these two conditions c greater than a and c greater than b now if we consider the second path corresponding to c then it's like this right 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 so a a greater than b is false and second thing is b greater than c is also false so that means again we can translate this into a greater than b is false so that means uh, b is greater than a this is true and since b greater than c is false so that means c is greater than b so again if we translate then again we will get these two conditions so if these two conditions are true then we can say that maximum is c okay so now let's quickly 
write down a formal code for this particular thing right so as you can see uh, the idea is same right but instead of max a max b and max c i have actually written printf statement so that we can see the output okay so now let's check the output so now here user is supposed to enter three numbers so let's say this three numbers are like this 20 30 and 10 and as you can see maximum is 30 so this is fine but again uh, this is not what we want actually because here we are doing too much work here irrespective of my inputs uh, we will be doing six comparisons right comparison 1 comparison 2 comparison 3 comparison 4 comparison 5 comparison 6 so the question is can we do better right so that is the question so that means our objectives are not met yet and we need we must try again with the same solution so let's let's try to modify this solution in terms of uh, the with the revised objective of minimizing to total number of comparisons though so the very first thing which we can do is uh, one can argue that if we write down else here so let's say uh, the last two statements if we put them in like last two if blocks if we put them in else then what will happen then if a is not uh, so now let's let's uh, talk in terms of number of comparisons so if a is maximum then again we are doing only two comparisons because now uh, else block won't be executed so we are improving if a is maximum if a is not maximum then again we will be doing six comparisons because in the worst case c can be the maximum uh, at that time all the six comparisons will be done if b is maximum then also all the six comparisons will be done right so uh, apart from the case where a is the maximum we are not improving right so that is there is a still scope of improvement in terms of number of comparisons so what we can do so if we if we observe carefully then if we are at line number 10 that means a is not maximum because then only we are within else break, else uh, else block right otherwise uh, if if a is maximum then we we won't be executing line number 9 to 15 right so if we are at line number 10 that means a is not maximum so if a is not maximum then we don't need to compare b with a or c with a because a is and a is not maximum in any case so the uh, competition is between b and c only so what we can do we can remove this right so and similarly with respect to line number 13 also we can remove this first comparison which which involves c with and a right so now what we have done if again if we try to consider number of comparisons then uh, we have improved slightly so now what will happen if a is maximum then we are doing two comparisons otherwise we will be doing three comparisons right so that there is there is an improvement so now here also there is a scope of improvement because if you can and uh, see line number 11 and line number 13 then this comparisons are of complementary type so what we can do instead of writing down this again uh, if b is not greater than c then anyways c is greater than b right so what we can do we can rewrite this as else so by doing this what we have done we have reduced total number of comparisons from 3 to sorry from 6 to 3 right so now now if we, if we understand this particular code then if a is maximum then we are doing two comparisons otherwise we are we are doing three comparisons that is fine but now let's try to understand whether if whether we can do better than this or not okay so let's again uh, quickly revisit this particular logic so idea is like this if a is greater than b then we'll check a with c right and if that is true then a is maximum otherwise c is maximum and if a is greater than b is false then we'll check b with c if b is greater than c then uh, we'll say that b is maximum otherwise we will say c is maximum so this is the idea so what we can do corresponding to each node of this tree what each internal node of this tree so these are leaves a c b c where we are writing down answers they are leaves and other nodes are nothing but uh, internal nodes so corresponding to internal nodes what we can have we, we can have a separate if statement so if if you want to translate this into a code then what we can do if a greater than b this is corresponding to this root node okay and then 
if this particular criteria is true, then whatever appears in the left side will go inside this block of if statement, right? So, what we will do if this is true, then we will go inside this particular block, then there we can write down this particular statement if a greater than c and if this is true, then we can write down a else we can write down c. So, this is done with respect to left portion of this tree. Now, whatever comes in the right portion that will go in the else statement, right? So, we will go to else statement only if the criteria is false. So, that means right portion of this particular tree will appear in this particular else block. So, what we can write down here in else, if b is greater than c, then we will say b is maximum, else we will see, we will say c is maximum. So, this is the idea. And now, uh, let me rewrite here and then we will understand how we are improving in terms of uh, number of comparisons. So, again the idea is like this, first we will consider the starting node of the root with uh, no, starting node of the tree which is nothing but a greater than b. If a is greater than b, then we will check with c. If this is true, if a is greater than c, then we will say that c is, uh, sorry, a is maximum, right. So, we can print down this, else we need to print down c because now c is maximum because c is greater than a and a is greater than b. So, basically c is greater than a as well as b, right. And if this is false, so that means if a is not greater than b, then only we will check with this particular condition. If a is great, not greater than b, that means b is greater than a and then we will check b with c. And if b is greater than c, then b is maximum, otherwise c is maximum. So, in this scenario, we are, if you, if you can observe, then in any case, we are doing exactly two comparisons, right. So, if a is maximum, then we will follow this particular path. First comparison will be a and b, second comparison will be a and c and we are done. If b is maximum, then we will be following this part. a greater than b is false. So, this is first comparison and this is the second comparison. Well, second comparison will be true and we will get this uh, b as the answer. If c is maximum, then there are two possibilities. Either we will follow this path a greater than b uh, true and a greater than c false and uh, c will be the answer or a greater than b false. So, that is why we are here in the else statement and then b greater than c is uh, false. So, that is why we will get this particular answer. So, so let us verify this solution. So, let us say uh, numbers are like this 14, 20 and 37 let us say and as you can see the answer is 37. So, here we are improving. So, now further improvement is not possible because for three numbers at least two comparisons are required. We, we can't, we cannot do, uh, we cannot find maximum of three numbers using a single comparison, okay. Thank you. Subscribe to my channel for more videos.